Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am in a little bit of a different background. I've just got a plain wall behind me with my studio light in front of me because I wanted to film this video tonight. It's currently 20 to 6 right now so um, the light is completely gone and I literally can't film so I had to get my studio light out. Do you know what else is really annoying me? I have like little flyaway hairs on my head like and it just, it just I just hate it. Recently, I have been sent some products from Yes Style. I will link their website down in the description. They sell a variety of different makeup brands and different makeup in general. And they sent me some bits to actually make a TikTok video with. So I thought I would make a YouTube video as well. Um, but yeah, they did specifically just send me this stuff to make a TikTok video. I'm not a TikTok person in terms of creating content. Um, I don't really post a lot on there, um, very rarely, um, but I thought I would do a YouTube video review of these. This is actually going to be a first impressions of these products. I have tried them literally 10 minutes ago and I will insert the footage in as the video commences. Product number one that we have in here is the Five Skin Formula Toner. It says it's for pore care and sebum control. So it's meant to kind of reduce oils in your skin and just kind of mattify everything. From the ingredients that it states on the front, it says it has tea tree oil in it, which is obviously great for like reducing spots. It says it also has willow bark in it, which is um, interesting, but in terms of packaging wise, I think this packaging is not like my vibe. Like it's not the most interesting packaging. It is very simplistic, but simplistic in a way that's not necessarily like the most interesting product in the world. I think often simple packaging can look really nice, but when it comes to kind of this packaging, I'm not, you know, the biggest fan, but it's not about the packaging, it's about the product. It is just clear see-through on the inside, but yeah, it looks just like plain water, but we'll have to see. So I'll show you my first impressions of this now. Let's give this a try. Oh, I've just realized I probably should have got like um, cotton pads or something. Can I be bothered to go downstairs and get some? I don't think I can. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll pop some of this into my hand, because I've just literally washed my hands before filming this video pat against and then press onto the skin which is absolutely fine like you can 100% do that it says directions after cleansing the face which I've just done apply the toner onto your face using either your fingers or a cotton pad and massage in until fully absorbed so it says you can use your fingers so I'm going to do that um it doesn't say how much product to use okay so the top of it looks like this it's kind of like a little squirty tube thing so I'm just gonna yeah it straight away drips out so I'm gonna take a good amount in my hand and I'm just going to kind of rub that together in my hands and then just press onto the skin. You are kind of supposed to press skincare into your skin anyway, rather than kind of, you know, rub it in. Just because it kind of absorbs a little bit better. But it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm just going to press it over my entire face. Smell wise, it doesn't really have a scent to it. Like I can't really smell anything whilst this is going on it just smells of nothing yeah scent wise this is pretty much scentless like it could almost be water um, i don't think it is water um but yeah there's not really like a strong smell to this whatsoever if anything it just has like a slightly clean smell um so yeah that's nice don't mind that in terms of like how it pressed into my skin it absorbed really really quickly um into my skin it doesn't feel greasy it doesn't feel like it's sort of on my skin but what i have noticed is that my skin does feel quite tacky so when i touch my skin it does feel a little bit um kind of sticky in a way but only slightly um which is quite nice before makeup because it means that your makeup will apply a little bit better and it will stick to your face a little bit more and last throughout the day better so that's kind of not an issue for me um just kind of something i noticed i don't know if it's made my skin any glowier has it made my skin any glowier i'm not sure you'll probably see um like before I applied it and after um but yeah my skin went a little bit red when I was applying it which is always what happens with products but yeah I'm happy with that I will have to update you in my weekly vlogs as to kind of how I get along with this product but I do like it so far it would be the kind of product I would use at night time so I'll just layer it in with my skincare and see how I let, get along with that so um stick around watching my weekly vlogs if you're interested
Next up we have this, which is another skincare product that they sent me. This is the Dermaclear B5 Seeker Cream. This is 50 ml and the product is inside here. I think the brand is Village Factory, I think. Um, but that's what it looks like on the inside. Again, very simple like packaging and the writing on it is just kind of like straightforward like it's not like the kind of product where they're trying to like sell you the product it's just very kind of simple it says it's here to solve skin troubles well what skin troubles is it gonna solve it says it's meant to be soothing to the skin i'll have a look on the main packaging and see if it says anything um it says it is a gel cream that contains centella extract panthenol and natural extracts for skin soothing um and it's good for sensitive skin and for moisturizing your skin so just hydrating in general um but yeah this is the packaging and we'll have to see what my first impression is of this so far but in terms of like a gel consistency i do tend to prefer uh, like gel moisturizers over kind of normal moisturizers i feel like they blend into the skin a lot quicker and it just absorbs in i do like to use quite a lot of gel products and they just um, work into the skin a lot nicer you don't have to kind of keep rubbing and i just feel like it just sinks in a lot better and also it makes the skin look a lot glowier so we'll have to see my opinion of this product right now i am going to be trying the dermaclear b5 seeker cream and i'm going to pop this on now i believe this is a moisturizer so it says directions for use as the last step of your skincare routine take an appropriate amount and apply gently over the entire face now that's not a very good description um apply an appropriate amount like what is an appropriate amount that could be like the whole bottle to somebody and like a tiny amount to someone else but i guess that's basically what they're saying like just whatever suits you like whatever you like um i'm just gonna take like a normal moisturizing amount so i'll put a little bit onto the back oh i was not expecting that it's kind of like a gel consistency i'll maybe put a little bit more on the normal but yeah it does look like a gel i'll see if it will focus on that for you yeah there we go so it looks kind of like a gel consistency very very gel like i kind of like that but if it's going to be like really sticky on the face then I'm not sure how I feel about that. Kind of looked like my gel moisturizer that I used to sell before I like ran out of all the products. Right, I'm blending it in um, to my skin and it's feeling very, very gel-like. Like I can feel um, that it's quite kind of tacky but it's blending in quite nicely. My skin's going quite glowy, which is quite nice. And it is blending in now. It's not feeling too tacky. I was worried that it was gonna feel too tacky, but it's not. It feels quite nice. This actually feels like it would be an amazing primer. That's actually really nice. Like my skin's feeling hydrated. It's feeling um, moisturized and kind of like soft and like ready for makeup. Like this is how you want your skin to feel before you put makeup on because it feels like when you lay out makeup products on top it will feel like a nice base to put makeup on and that it will just glide onto the skin really nicely and that your skin is hydrated and um, the worst thing when putting makeup on is having dry skin um because because then things will start to look a little bit cakey um but yeah i really like that um it's very definitely very glowy i am probably going to start using that as like a primer for my makeup that is a winner i really like that first impressions very positive but again i will give future feedback on this in weekly vlogs and things like that because that's where i will just chat about things that i've mentioned in previous videos next we have this which is actually a foundation so this is the energy change up cushion and i'm gonna open this up now this is a cushion foundation i haven't tried a cushion foundation before and if i have i don't really remember it's in the shade warm beige and I quite like the packaging it feels quite sturdy so it feels um quite nice quality which is nice from a product like it doesn't feel like it's going to break um on the inside we have a little mirror and then here is the cushion which you use to apply the product and then also on the inside we have um the foundation which i can't open there we go the foundation on the inside now when you see my first impressions of this in a minute I will have not actually kind of opened this and you will see my first impressions of me actually opening this but yeah it is a cushion foundation and 
we'll have to see what my opinions of this are but yeah who knows whether this is gonna kind of become a staple in my makeup collection who knows probably not but we never know okay now i'm gonna try this kind of foundation situation obviously i have just used my um seeker cream and that is a great like primer product i think so i don't need to prime my skin before popping this on um but does it have directions so the directions for this product is it says gently press the puff applicator into the foundation number two tap onto the skin to deliver the perfect dose of foundation and number three build to the desired coverage level so i am going to give this a go i'm not usually a massive lover of like pressed foundations i'm more of a kind of just a liquid foundation person um, but we'll give this a go and open it Hi everyone. How can I not open this? What is going on? Ah, oh, because you have to press this in. I wasn't pressing that in, you need to press this in. Right, um, hello, there's a mirror. Um, okay, so we've got the little kind of puff applicator, which is at the top to keep it clean. And then we pull up and we've got the foundation, which is completely fresh, everyone. So have definitely not tried this yet. Oh, good God. I feel like this is going to be a bit of a fail. Right, I'll show you what I'm looking at in a minute when I've managed to pull this entire thing off. This looks like honeycomb. And how did they know what, like, like they didn't know what shade I was. Like, when I was sent these products, they didn't know what shade I was. So hopefully it matches my skin. Um, but can you see that? Like, it literally looks like honeycomb. Like, I'm sorry if you've got, like, fear of small holes or anything like that. You're not going to like this. Um, but yeah, it does look like, kind of like a honeycomb consistency and let me just actually like try this with my finger oh what the hell oh, i think the foundation is like in here and that's like a like um a material it's basically like one of these but it's got holes in it and yeah because i can feel that and that yeah it's like um a fabric and it's coming through it that does look like it could be a good match actually to my skin because that's just blended into my hand and you can't see it so that means it's either no coverage whatsoever or it matches my skin um so let's give it a go so i'm going to press it like that and then to just kind of press it into the skin i have got my beauty blender and i have wet the beauty blender just in case like i need it I was looking at this mirror, but there's no use to me because it's got a film on it, I think. Right, in terms of shade, it's a decent shade. I was expecting it to be too dark for my skin, if I'm honest. But if anything, it may be slightly too light. But that's okay because we can fix that sort of thing with foundation. Um, it's quite easy to apply. It picks up product really quickly and it's just like using a beauty blender but yeah i can now see that the shade of this is quite quite light um i don't have a mirror with me to kind of see like how i'm looking um so this could be looking really 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 bad i'm gonna press over the eye area i find it hard to use something like this um i much prefer like having a brush or having a beauty blender or something but it does mean with this kind of product that you can control like how much product you're using um because you just kind of dab in and go back on you don't have to like get the bottle and like kind of um get loads into your hand and then you've wasted some because you can't put it back in the bottle with this it's very controlled with how much product you're using um this does look like i'm filming a halloween makeup tutorial um <laughs> because look how pale that makes my skin look but the beauty of makeup is that you can um fix things like this um with bronzer and things like that so i'm just going to take it down my neck the thing is is on here it looks so much darker than on my face like what is that it's quite a cool toned foundation as well that's what i've noticed is that it is cool toned very much um ghostly um <laughs> right let me look in the mirror 
Okay, I think it is applied enough. I'm just gonna close this up, put the sponge back in. Now, I think what I would do instead of this little sponge is I would just go in with my like Real Technique sponge and use that instead. So maybe in a weekly vlog or something, I will show me using that with this product just to see if there's any changes or anything like that, if it's any better. In terms of the actual formula of this product, I think that it's quite a, more of a glowy kind of foundation. So it's definitely not a matte foundation. It's a little bit more on the glowy side, which for someone with oily skin, that's not necessarily something that I kind of like to go for, but it's, it's not something that I'm horrifically bothered about. Um, coverage wise, it is nice coverage. I would say this is medium to full coverage. I'm not sure what it says on here about coverage. Um, but I personally would say it's medium to full coverage. I just did kind of like one like little layer over my face I didn't build any up because I don't need to I'm not bothered about like loads of coverage in terms of the shade It is too light for my skin tone, but only slightly like it does look like it kind of matches Um, but it could be doing with it a tad darker because can you see like it's quite a cool tone foundation and my skin tone is more a lot more warm um, so it just makes your skin look a little bit washed out but it does say it's in the shade warm beige and having tried foundations in the shade warm beige this is definitely not that shade um, but I'm not complaining because we can work with it it's fine overall I kind of like this product and I will continue to use it do I think it's going to turn into a favorite not really but is it a good product yeah it's decent so yeah then we have this which is a velvet lip tint and this is something that i'm not kind of usually into is just like this kind of color i don't wear this on an everyday basis this is the color by the way spoiler alert um but this is in the shade ruby pink and it looks like this so it's not a liquid lipstick it's not a lip gloss it's not um, anything like that it is a lip tint so it's a lot kind of more sheer in formula that's what lip tints are meant to be and they just kind of um, go onto your lips and it's meant to look like it's kind of just like how your lips naturally look but with a colour on it if you know what I mean so it's not meant to be like super super matte and it's not meant to be super super glossy um, it's kind of like a little bit in between um, but yeah this is um the color personally i maybe would have preferred a more nude shade color but it's nice to have these kind of lipsticks in my collection so that i can you know use and wear different shades okay i have done all of my makeup i swear i just heard a ding oh it's my phone and it's right next to me um i have done all my makeup and now i'm gonna apply lipstick lip liquid lipstick so oh it's a lip tint I'm just going to remove any foundation off my lips. That's so annoying. I hate it, like, when doing my makeup. I went for more of a simple look for makeup. Um, but yeah, so this is in the shade Ruby Pink. <laughs> I first impressions it sits on the lips quite nice so in terms of like it feels um, comfortable it doesn't feel sticky or tacky and it doesn't feel like some liquid lipsticks can where it kind of feels drying on the lips and like it's gonna crack off this feels really soft it feels like it's not gonna um, rub off by just doing that with my lips um, it does feel really comfortable actually this is really nice now I'm just sort of saying this color wise I do quite like this it's like more of a red color actually like when you see it on the lips um but in here it looks a lot pinker actually it kind of does look a bit red um but anyway i personally really like the shade i think it's nice it's not something i wear on a day-to-day -day basis but it is something i wear occasionally because it sits so comfortably on the lips i would be more comfortable with wearing a shade like this because it just feels like natural to wear this it looks matte on the lips um, rather than kind of shiny. In fact, I would say it looks satin. There's a little bit of shine. Um, but yeah, I'm super impressed with this. I really like this. Formula-wise, this is great. Shade-wise, I like it as well. Um, so yeah, a lip tint. 
this is a great product and it's going to become something I'm going to wear a lot more often. Um, the problem with liquid lipsticks is that often they don't feel comfortable on the lips. Even lip glosses can feel, you know, you still feel them on your lips, whereas this just feels nice and soft and you can't really feel that. So yeah, I really like this. First impressions are absolute winner. Finally, in here we have this, which is the hand moisturising mat. A mask from Village Factory and um, I am going to do a first impressions of this in a minute and show you this because I haven't actually used this yet but I think what you do is you um, there's like um, a hand thing and you put your hands into it so, um, and for a little while um, so yeah directions it says to wash and dry your hands take out the mask and pull apart the seam along the top of the gloves slip each glove onto your hands Jesus, leave them on for 20 minutes. Who's got time for that? Not me. Um, oh, I guess I'm going to have to do that. But yeah, so um, that's this. I will do a first impressions of this in a second. In terms of um, benefits of this, it says it helps to hydrate your skin and helps to kind of remove dry, rough skin from your hands. Um, I'll give this a go because my job that I do Monday to Friday is very much hands-on. So I do get a lot of rough skin on my hands and a lot of cuts and things. Um, so yep, yeah, like here, I got that the other day. Um, so I'll give that a go and see like my opinions of that. Hello, have I zoomed the camera in? I think I accidentally zoomed the camera in. And give this a go. I've never used a hand mask before. Sorry, it's a motorbike. So this will be interesting. All right, let's give this a go. Oh God, right. Oh, I was expecting this. Oh my God. I was genuinely expecting this to be like one of those sheet masks where you get it out and it feels all like, um, sticky on the outside so oh i see i see oh there we go right so inside it looks like this hand goes in and oh for goodness sake trust me to put it in the wrong way and yeah it's got like sticky sticky stuff in it can you see that i'll try and show you what it looks like so it's like gel like right i'll put one on and then i'll put the other on oh, i won't be able to take my camera off do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to put one on. I won't put the other one on my hand. I'll put the other one on later on so that I'm actually able to um, like do the camera. But I'm going to leave this on for the designated amount of time, 20 minutes, and then I'll get back to you. But I will do the other hand mask after I film this video. I just don't want to look silly. But yeah, that feels nice actually. That's nice. And But it's one of those things where you can't get on with activities whilst this is on. But anyway see you in 20 minutes right it's been about 20 minutes i'm now going to take this off my camera is actually dying Oops, sorry a bit loud um my hands feel really warm it's not good um but yeah can you see that oh i've got loads of product up my nails but yeah my hands feel moisturized and soft um i'll just rub it over to the other hand <laughs> don't know why um but yeah my hands feel really soft smells really nice and I like that. Would I repurchase a hand mask again? Probably not, but nice to have as a free product, I guess. Um, maybe a nice Christmas gift to get somebody. Um, but I wouldn't, it's not something I'd particularly buy, but it's all right. So there, that's my first impressions and my only impressions. So that is everything for this video. That is my first impressions of a bunch of makeup. It's quite nice for me to make some makeup videos. I do want to make some more, I'm not going to lie. I think favourite thing... Um, favorite thing that I have is probably I do quite like this I do really quite like this um cream but I think favorite favorite is the lip tint because it just feels so comfortable on the lips so these two are good but if you're gonna get anything from this video I would recommend getting this um but like I said links to yes style will be in the description all of these products are on their website if you are interested in purchasing any of them and um yeah that's it for this video thank you for watching please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more videos my next video will be on next monday which will be a weekly vlog so stick around for that and i'll see you then